A wild scene in Brockton. Take a look at this. This truck crashed into a building, then landed on top of two parked cars, and right now the driver's on the run. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Brockton near that crash scene on Montello Street with the latest. Beth, this is wild. Uh, well, the pickup truck has long since been towed, but the owners of these heavily damaged vehicles behind me are left to pick up the pieces. There are a lot of questions for investigators about how this happened, including who was behind the wheel. Car into building, another truck on top of another vehicle at number 1007 at Montello Street. When Brockton police officers arrived at 2.30 this morning, this is what they saw. Smashed up vehicles, glass, and car parts strewn about the lawn. Video surveillance shows a pickup truck driving on Montello Street and suddenly going airborne, landing on top of them. I'm sleeping. I had a nose. Philippe Alves owns this white transport van that was heavily damaged from the roof to the windows. Police say the driver lost control of the pickup, hit a fire hydrant, clipped the corner of the home, then hit three parked cars before coming to rest on two of them. Boom, I come outside, I see the, the car on the top, the guys stick off. Casmiro Silvera claims it was a man and a young boy who both jumped out and ran off, though police have not yet confirmed that as they continue to search for the person behind the wheel. We're lucky that nobody was injured. You know, we wish the driver would have stayed on the scene. When the officers arrived, some of the people who were on the scene said, we saw him running, we saw him running. Police say there are no reports of a stolen vehicle and the driver was not the owner of the car, leaving many questions for investigators who thought they had seen everything on the job. You've seen everything, not quite everything. So it was quite a scene to see. This it was a fall of my, of my family. Philippe Alves says he's looking for alternatives for his family, while neighbors remain incredulous about the crash they heard this morning. Yeah, I hope they find the person that did this. Because you know what I mean, those, those poor people don't deserve having their, their vehicles damaged like they do. And since there are no stolen vehicle reports, police won't yet say if the owner of the pickup does actually know who the driver is, only that it is all part of the investigation. Reporting live from Brockton, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, thank you.